Welcome back to New Day. And right, former Vice President Park Wissim Bekwin in Misatha has died aged 67. He died at the 37 military hospital this morning. Uh, information uh, getting to us indicates that uh, the former Vice President uh, had gone to the gym this morning where he collapsed and was rushed to the 37 military hospital where he died. Uh, men are stationed at the facility as well as the house of uh, the former vice president but let's go to cape coast thomas khan is there and uh, thomas good morning and uh, you have been to uh, the family house uh, paint a picture of what is happening there at the moment uh, well uh the news broke uh, you know uh, it's been a very difficult one uh looking at the faces of people who are still being in you can see where the house you know, when it comes to it, uh, there's this popular house, uh, it's a disaster uh, house, uh, located around the front of our back, close to the front of the front of the front That's where uh, I would say the modern side of uh, the house. Uh, when you go there, there, there isn't much there uh, because uh, we hardly go to the house uh, or we hardly find uh, anybody around. Now, uh, at North Buddha, where I am currently, that's uh, at, uh, at where uh, usually when the woman by the family, family that has been said to be said, where usually uh, would come, because that's where the parents came. Uh, uh, the, the, the dad passed on uh, already, but the mom is here, and uh, uh, the one person who was very close to uh, the mom. So, anytime you think people this way, so when the news broke, uh, one would expect that definitely this is a place that people And then as I stand here, I can see quite a number of uh, people in this in and out. Some who are uh, on board who are in this place. And I've got a number of people who are part of the who are here at the moment. But what uh, we have is that the information just get to the mother of the former vice president. Uh, who uh, the family members they, they have to, you know, uh, manage and know how they are going to act uh, to uh, the information to break uh, the matter. So at the moment, they are preventing people from entering the house. As I speak, nobody is uh, allowed to enter into the house. Uh, no one is keeping in mind the whole thing that is you know, that is not at the moment. Hello, Thomas. Yes, if you can reposition yourself, uh, your line is uh, quite uh, not good, but you were making a point. Um, uh, yes, you, you, your line is terrible. If you can uh, reposition yourself, okay. you, 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 are, you, uh, you are describing what, what, a what, what exactly is happening at the family house. If you can yes, just go over it again. Exactly what I was saying is that uh, uh, I've seen quite a number of people who are in this room. But at the moment, uh, there are some uh, residents who have been living around so that people don't get, get into the house. Now, for the system, allowing entry into the house is uh, 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 people are not being allowed into the main house. So, this is the gated house. So, um, on the street that enters the main leading to the house, there is sort of like a barrier that nobody is being allowed entry into the house because um, the former vice president's mother uh, is still alive, an old lady, and the, she has not been told of the news yet. So they don't want to uh, give the news to her now. She doesn't have to know. They want to, you know, package the news. They, they have to know how they want to package the news because, uh, according to them, they were so close, the mother was so close to the son that they have to find a nice way of breaking the news to her. So at the moment, people are here, you know, a lot of people are keeping in, but they are not allowing anybody to enter the house. All right, Thomas Khan, we're grateful. We'll come back to you when uh, we have more information from you. Thomas Khan is at the family house in Cape Coast in the central region. And uh, my guest in the studio is an inspirational and marriage uh, counselor. He's also an entrepreneur. Mr. Kukui Dumata is here. Good morning. Good morning, Brian. And grateful for uh, oh, your so time with us. So, for instance, yes, uh, uh, what Thomas just said, mm. how do we break such news to 
the mother. It is a bit difficult. Looking at the relationship that the vice president had with the mom, you can just go like that. Mm. So we will sort of create a scenario that probably your son is here, your son said this, your son this, and then probably a message will be thrown to her that, oh, he's on his way coming or something. And then later, later in the evening, after eating and all that, we'll let go that, well, he wanted to come over, mm -hmm. but then went to a place and couldn't come back. So the news is that uh, he's no more there. But even that, you had to take it strategically. But you see, right, all that I want to say here is that <clears throat> when we are human beings mm -hmm. and we are living on this planet Earth, people think that we are nothing. Whatever tag that is on you, people might say you are nothing. But the day you leave, then your value, your importance comes. So I always want to say that whilst I was alive, what were the things I used to say? What are the things I used to uh, uh, paint across? That's the time you must take it serious. So yes, in person, he's no more there. Mm. But the vice president had done a lot, had said a lot, had given instruction a lot. And this is where we need to now hold on to as if he is still alive. Because I always say that <clears throat> this planet Earth we are is a temporal sort of... We're not here forever. Forever. We were going to go. So whatever that we do say, whatever that we do act or whatever, we must, somebody somewhere must hold it tight. We can't bring him back. But the only thing we can reckon with is his deeds, his words, his actions. So in, in a more enterprising way, call it an organization or the country as a whole, we are now going to remember some of the things he said, mm -hmm. good or bad. We ought to look at it. And again, I say that anybody who dies leaves us with the basket full of wisdom. For us to tap into. For us to tap into it. Very, very important. Ghana has lost a huge figure. Huge. It's not just a light one. So it's it's the entire country in this mode. Yes. How do we sympathize with each other? Uh, we will by, as it were, he's no more with us. But we can do it better with his good deeds, with his bad deeds. What lesson do we tap into it? From here, if I were in the shoes, what would I do? What were some of the little, little mistakes that he did? Can we recorrect it? What are the good things that he did? Can we hold it tight to? Can we leave the vice president in us? All right. Once upon a time, it was his signature that all of us were spending. Isn't it? So this man had become life in us. Had become part of us. Mm. So whatever you tag on him as A or B is still not what we are supposed to look at. He giving us a leaving, his signature on the currency. It's enough. So we're going to go back. Mm. All of us. And then let's articulate the good things. How well can we leave those words, those actions? And that's how we can honor him. That's how we can honor him. It's not going to go to the funeral. It's not going to go. No, you speak value. You speak well. You speak things that will more or less. We see him. He's still alive. Quote and unquote. What will make him come back to life? Is acting, performing his words and his deeds. He, right. he served as a vice president. I'm sure you, you know him. Yes. What, what would you remember him? Uh, I do remember him of his countenance. I call it the calm, cool gentleman. Talk less, but would like to perform. I am not too much a politician, so I won't delve into what it goes. And I never knew that he was such a, a humorous person till he mount... <laughs> um, 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 the podium, and then asking with, then with the uh, candidate uh, Nanado, right? Right. Right. That, if, you're, if you think you are too short, let, let's get you something. And I was like, wow. So you can speak like this, and all of a sudden, we saw you as somebody who is not talking. So there's that humorous aspect of him too as well. Probably he wasn't saying as a me, um, a sort of, uh, um, he meant it seriously, but curating something out of it as a differential mm. from the marketing point of view, all right? That of course the person we are actually campaigning with is a short like that. But of course, the interpretation that people place on it became something else. Uh, so I know him as um, a man from afar, a calm man, a man who talked less, but performs. We, we, have, we, have, we have done with his, his mother. Yes. Now let's come to his immediate family. Yeah. In times like this. Yeah. 
is it it's it's how do we handle it bright in times like this the shock will remain the tears the will flow wife, the, the wife the children everybody ah I was to discuss this with him when he comes back from wherever he's going. Ah, we needed to discuss it. So all these things would have been come, I mean, had come to a halt as to we can't have it now. So indeed, the persona is gone. Two, three, five days, a week later, the realization as to we can't get him back will now come. And that is where we must leave the vice president. So yes, we will encourage ourselves. Daddy, uncle uh, is no more. But what then do we do to our life? What do they need now? What they Encouragement? Need, yes, what they need now is to reassuring. What they need now is that they have not, or they are not going to be forgotten. What they need now is that we will always be there and we leave that persona of the vice president. The, 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 the immediate family yeah. is virtually the property of the state. Sure. What will be the state's role in this? That is, I mean, it's like, it's like a part of a state is gone. Mm. You need to patch it up. If it's like a building and one side is gone bar and you want to repair, you go back. You do the same thing. Mm. So I said, the vice president, as, um, the former vice president, as a person, is no more. Right. But his stature, his status, his persona as the vice president of this country, it still lives. Uh, currently, we have pictures from his mm. house on, on mm. the screen mm. now. Uh, crowds uh, beginning to gather yeah. there. And uh, you will see uh, very soon, I'm sure, the family likely to make an announcement. Yeah. And uh, that's what we're expecting. Mm. The, the, the president, current president, Kufrado, has uh, sent a message to the family. Good. That alone should be a That alone should that be a That is a man who served Ghana. Exactly. He is part of Ghana. We will be there with you. Mm. We will speak the language. We will mourn with you. Mm. So you are not left alone. You see, the time we need people in our lives is when something falls. Who then you call your friend? Who then you call as part of you? Is the one who recognizes the fall and want to as we make it well in your life. It's very, very important. That's why I said it's not even money. It's not even whatever you call it. But my presence, mourning with me, making me feel that yes, it's gone, but it's not gone, mm. is what we, they need now. So we, we, we will sort of send the signal that yes, he is gone, but watch the comment you pass around. Uh, it is good to let go the good ones because anybody who is gone, normally we don't tag them with the bad things they do, but of course we learn something out of it. So whatever mistake he has done, that is the time we have to forgive him mm. and then look at the positive aspect and then paint that picture to him. He is a Christian. Yes. And so uh, Christianity is lost. Yeah. Uh, the church, the church. which he attends yeah. is lost yeah. too. And so for now, the church would also have to come in here yes. and, 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 and help sure. stabilize the family. Exactly. How did you do that? Uh, they need to go there and as we well, sympathize, empathize with them on that basis. And then of course, of course, when it comes to the barrier and all that, they will be in support. So they should still recount the support they will give as a church to the family and what they will do. And right, so all this is about, we, we have not left you alone. You are not alone in this. We are with you. Mm. That is a language. That everybody show that uh, body language exactly, to you encourage know, encourage that person. Uh, the family need not be alienated; they must be. We are there, so I turn, they turn. We have them. This is the time. Uh, even his political opponents mm. this time would have to show a body language that signifies exactly. unity. You can't play politics with this one, right? No. Look, it could happen to you. The only person who calls us is God. The only person who you said uh, is who you are and so you're going to talk is no more there anymore. Mm. So are you coming to talk about politics? Are you coming to do what you do? No, 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 no. It could happen to you, right? It could happen to me. So why can't we now show in that unison that, hey, we are behind you. Those times that he was alive, things we said is gone. We're not going to talk about it. Mm. But we're going to talk about how well we can live his life. That's is what matters now for the the Ghanaians who perhaps will be trooping to the, the either the home mm. to see the, the family mm. the wife mm. what should be 
the, the body language the, the body, body language you know the Ghanaian yes that. yes you, you are going to go there and realize that you've lost something and right if you have indeed lost something you see how you behave you don't go rejoicing. You don't go show that, oh, this man, yes, I hated him, so he is no more. I'm happy. No, 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 no. No. You are going to go there, we've lost. Something valuable is gone out of our hands. Something we cannot have again for the rest of our life. Something that Ghana cannot boast of anymore is gone as a person. But we will be there. We will re, 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 recast, if you have to use that word, recast mm. his life, mm. recast his words. Do what we can do to say that he's still with us. Let's wrap up our conversation. Let me give you some two minutes mm. to uh, speak some words of inspiration, encouragement to both the immediate and the extended family, and then we'll wrap up on this. What I'll say is that, yes, the shock will still be there, mm. but the shock need not take you for the rest of your life. Let's now sit and say, we gave something to Ghana, but that thing that we gave to Ghana cannot forever remain as that. It might fizzle out. But now we are going to go to the deeds. We're going to go to the words. We're going to go to the actions. And that is where we must live. So the former vice president is gone. But whatever he has left, we must be able to leave it. So I'm saying that uh, if the wish of every human being would have been, I live forever. But there is a timetable on us. There's a time taken on us. When it comes, we give glory to God. Mm. So anything that starts, ends. And anything that ends, starts. So yes, the former vice president is gone, but somebody is to start. So who will be the start? I want the family to do the starting. Because there's an ending. The family, the people around, the country, whoever, all of us, the media, all of us, we should do the starting of the former vice president. I'm grateful for I'm your grateful. time with us this morning. Mr. Kukui Dumata is an inspirational uh, speaker, as a marriage counselor, as a psychologist, and also doubles as an entrepreneur. Passing on all the former Vice President Park Wissi this morning. Uh, rest in peace from us here. Yeah? Uh, our sympathizers and uh, condolences uh, with the bereaved family. Mm -hmm. We'll bring you more uh, updates in the course of the day. That's how we're wrapping up on New Day.